I don't even have the words to describe. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to think of something different. Like, what does that feel like when I you know. just win and keep winning? Well, I'll tell you what, Jim Coles asked them about that, and we'll hear it in just a few minutes. How about that? Southern Columbia's dominance on the high school football field is remarkable, but perhaps the most impressive part is the longevity. Gone are the Division I prospects like Julian Fleming and Cal Halliday, but the Tigers still found a way to make it back to Hershey for a seventh straight season, a stretch that started back in 2015. Tigers facing Sarah Catholic in the PIAA Class 2A title. Southern doesn't throw the ball too often, but this play works out. Tied at seven, Blake Wise throws it up. Braden Wazlowski comes down with a 63-yard go-ahead score. Then it's Gavin Garcia, 173 yards rushing, three scores for Garcia. Now 21-7 Tigers. This time, Wazlowski going to make a play on defense. He makes the juggling catch for an interception that led to another Garcia score. Southern led 28-7 at the break. Hey, the Eagles got within nine. They could have got within one score, but they missed a couple of extra points. But the Tigers respond with five fourth quarter touchdowns. Wazlowski with four total scores. Southern Columbia wins 62-25. It's their fifth straight title. Sixth in the last seven years. Twelfth overall. That's twice as many as any other school in the state. Sports director Jim Coles was in Hershey to witness history. They came, they conquered, and they did it again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Five consecutive state championships, six in seven years, and yet the Tigers played pretty much a sloppy game. Such is the benchmark when you win your 12th state championship. I never imagined that if, if somebody was going to tie or break the record of winning five in a row, it would be us. I can't recall another, another game that just uh, w was difficult for us to pull away. You know, we, we obviously hurt ourselves with penalties and, and could have scored more points earlier to make things easier. We definitely gave, uh, came through a lot of adversity with the injuries to the team and people going down and people coming up and replacing them, doing a great job, and our line being undersized. All of it. I think that's what puts us apart from all the other teams in this in, the, in our history. Two plays you made where you high pointed. One on the underthrown pass that you went up, and the other on the interception. Which one are you going to sleep remembering the rest of your life? Definitely that um, uh, corner switch we had on where I jumped up and uh, caught the ball over the kid. I saw him playing deep on me, so I knew I had to make a move, and I burned him. And I just went up for a high point and 50-50 ball. I'm catching it. It's a great feeling. I know going out there, it's the crowd screaming, go get a sack. I see the guys on my sideline, let's go, Dick, let's go. And I know that it's going to hype them up. I get a sack and I get a big play. And every scream, this, this, the, the crowd screaming. So it's all great. <laughs> What's it like to be a Tiger? I mean, it's great. I mean, kids are dreaming to get here once, and let alone win it. And I've been here all four years, and I've won it all four years. It's just something that very few people get to say. And it was awesome. And I'm glad I was a, a Tiger. Yeah! Jim Coles, News 1 16 Sports, Hershey Park Stadium.